A witcher. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dol Nevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldarin. If I'm correct, guys, I think this is Professor Morio that Triss was talking about. How cool is that? Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Oh, Guess crap. somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Definitely really worth doing this, like right now. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light, woman maybe? Wonder where they lead. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Triss sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Saw a tour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the river once lay. Need to explore the location. Come on, Roach.
some other place to meet. for good. I hate portals. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. tried to die yet, so I'm not even sure how that works entirely. Oh, that's right, I can hook up my witch output. My goodness. That other thing was getting seriously tiring. And my sword. Let's go. Alright, let's see. What can I change it into blue? Blue's always nice. Some blue pants. Blue shirt. Blue pantaloons. Blue shoes. But they don't really look blue. I don't know how I feel about that. How about green? strange. Green pantaloons. Green shoes. That's not really green. That's like... I don't know how I feel about this, guys. Let me try brown. Um, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. Alright, we'll do that. Let's dye the bottoms. Ooh. It's kind of a new look. It says... It says Chic Geralt. All light. I like it. Alright. 
Blue gloves? No. <laughs> Baby blue gloves? We're all just colored up. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do that to him. That's just... We have die remover just in case, but... Yeah, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, what was I gonna do here? Oh yeah, eat some bread. I'll meditate. I could meditate. Let's meditate for a little bit. Heal myself up. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue. So we are... Okay, if you just tuned in right now. We're on a... On a mini scavenger hunt to try to find... Um, Implanted spikes. Whoa. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Oh, and my cheese and crackers. Um, I don't know. That's not, that just seems very bad. Alright, let's try to time this. Okay. Click. Click. They look yellow. I need to go back. Get my black dye. This is ridiculous. I just made myself gave myself some mustard-colored McDonald pants. Great. Okay. Go 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 go! <laughs> so what was that happening? Okay, I'm gonna eat some bread real quick. <coughs> just chill here. I'm not saying I hoard everything, but I kind of do sometimes. Never liked cats. That creepy moment, I'm not sure whether or not to go down the tunnel. I want to, but I don't want to. Let's just do it. And... Alright. All of that for nothing, basically. And I can't get back up. Son of a mother trucker. 
when the greed gets the best of you. Part two. This. Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the Panthers at least. Okay, I'm changing my pants. They're they're driving me insane. I mean, this is just I'd rather that. Maybe that'll work, because ugh. The other combo was just not kicking it. That's a little better. Certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory. I have been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. Illegible fragment. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I've decided to secure the premises with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I've installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, he must notice these stones and puzzle on their purpose. Then, he must find a way to press them. Illegible fragment. Excellent. Puzzle. And with that puzzle, there's your clue. Crossbow. Okay. That was a kind of self-explanatory. Oh, I see that. Something's up there. Okay. We'll come right back. Actually, let me grab that loot just because I can't. <sighs> Alright, let's see what we can do here. I wasn't sure what this was, if this was a tunnel where we had just came through, and if it was, yeah it was. Yeah, because there's a blood soaked cloth. So, well, let's continue. here must have scaled that wall, evaded the Panthers. Stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? 
Could try to hit them. Something like that myself. Did it. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Wanted guest, intruder. You're not welcome. Yeah, figured as much. getting better.
Right. Now to find the next portal. thinking if I went the one direction he was facing, but a little bit iffy. Okay, so we just came out of this portal. Alright, let's see. He's facing that portal over there, which I can't really get over there unless I jump up and into that portal, but we'll try to go... Alright, let's go left. Here we go. This was our way. We're gonna use that statue as a guide to get us through to the next floor. Alright, so we're on top floor. Here we go. We did left. Left did not work, so let's go right. And that did Damn not work it. Either. Back where I started. Alright. So, let's see. We know. Specific way. Let's try this one. Alright, now to find the next portal. Alright, so the key right. is to go. Now to find the next portal. So, how do we go up from here? Okay, try to left and try to right. That didn't work unless I go back. I wonder if I go back if it makes a difference. Because there's no way. Wait, is there a way to get, climb up? Try to go back. No, that one's locked. Alright. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you guys see this? This is a yeah. different location. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. It's like we went back in time or forward because now this room is completely different from what it was. Alright, so let's follow this guy. He's basically pointing towards this direction, so let's go this way. Damn it, wrong Dang. again. Nope. Could All be right. some clue around here. What is the clue? We'll find it. We'll find it. Right. Let's do this one more time. We will figure this out. Okay. So we're still gonna try right. to do. Got to find the next portal. All right. Let's go down. And let's see what's over here. No. What is our clue? Okay, that one's got tons of trees on it. This one doesn't. That one doesn't. Um, granted, he was pointing that way. Let's go up. No, because that's where we. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go up. Let's go. I got a good feeling about this one. Yes. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Alright. Now to find the next portal. Okay, see how everything's changed all of a sudden. Alright, he's facing that way. So let's try. Whoa! <laughs> Almost fell there. Let's kick this one up. Awesome. All right. Good Must job. Must be where Moreau had his lab. All right, let's use our little senses. Okay, guys. So basically, just follow the way of the statue and we'll get that done. Just need to pick an entry. Yeah. 
the 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Whoa, that's huge. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. And what does that mean for him and Triss? Children. But then again, Triss can't have kids. Ah, never mind. Next. Crystal for this entry's missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Years of experiments, research, sacrifice, all for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. In 
intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Seen enough. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics.
need your eggs. Just in case I might have to take my glasses off. I think he said get fully undressed, so I'm just intriguing as machinery. Yes, there's mutagens and boy starting as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. 